Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. About to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. The Oakland Police Officers Association says they've had enough of Mayor Shang Tao. They sent a letter asking her to step down. Respectfully ask that the mayor resign immediately. They say they've lost faith in her leadership, that the department and the community are suffering. Crimes is through the roof uh, in the city. Uh, the budget crisis, the distraction uh, of the FBI raid that uh, prevent our ability to function as a city. Just this weekend, nine people were shot in Oakland in a span of 30 hours. And they say there's simply not enough officers to respond to calls quickly. For an incident in West Oakland recently, uh, it, it took us three days to finally get there for a shooting that 100 rounds was fired. But Mayor Tao just released a video statement. In it, she says crime is actually down. Oh, narratives in the building. And now the police union, they want her up out of here. And this comes after she just sold um, part of the Oakland Coliseum. There's been a group trying to buy the um, Coliseum for a while. Um, and back even when the Raiders were here, they were trying to get involved well, before they left. And um, they wasn't getting no action. And this is it's been years. So, hey, I'm not trying to put no salt on what's happening, man. But all of a sudden, when she's facing all this ridicule, this deal goes through. But um, I'm going to play some content where she's breaking down um, how it happened and um, how the police union wanted her to get up out of here. And we're going to break this content down because it's, it's, it's corrupt. It's scandalous in Oakland, too, with these elected officials. So it's, it's everywhere right now. I'm, I'm telling you, all but check this content out and foremost, it's not the full association. It's the Oakland Police um, Officers Association Executive Board, which makes up of four people. Um, you know, I want this really undermines all of the great work that our police officers in the city of Oakland have been doing day in and day out in partnership with my office. You know, in regards to the public safety issue, of course, again, we need more officers. It was either the 678 police positions that I pushed forward and found the money to actually resolve the issue or 610 officers. Which both right? of those numbers are significantly below what's recommended oh, for a city like Oakland. Oh, absolutely. I agree. And this is why I reached out to the governor's office last year to ask for CHP support. And we are seeing that the CHP support is continuing because of my partnership with the governor's office. And this is the right path to do it. All right. Well, even the governor has said, you know, as far as the CHP help, that's not their job. So they're not going to be there forever. So I'm just seeing a lot exactly. of like maybe Band-Aid short term fixes. And I think that's concerning a lot of voters. Hey, I, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to just keep it real. I don't normally see this, man. When they come out against each other like this, and she's been facing a recall from so many um, different um, angles, and this is another one. Now the police union. But again, I'm going to break this content down because she, you know, she tried to make a power move, and I don't think it's too much power in it. But uh, check this content out, and I'll be back. And this is why, under my leadership, we are selling our half of the Coliseum to the uh, African-American Sports Entertainment Group. The A's have just announced we knew they were working on a parallel path to sell their, their half. Now we only have one owner of that site. And so what that means is we get immediate monies. That's $5 million immediately. And so they're paying uh, at the forefront so that they can actually develop this site. The development of this site means that we'll be able to generate new revenues, new tax revenues to come into our general fund. So we are thinking not only short term and in the present, but we are thinking about long term and how we invest in the city of Oakland. OK, but I in the short sick, term, I, I am also sick and tired of actually, you know, not having enough resources in the city of Oakland to provide basic services like public safety. And so with that being said, this is the most responsible thing to do in order to keep our city safe. Well, that is the concern, though, that the the budget, the current budget is sort of built on a house of cards. It's it's counting on this money right now from the Coliseum. That sale isn't even finalized yet. And then the concern is, what are we going to do next year? We only have one Coliseum to sell. How are we going to get out of the next budget hole? You know, my thing is um, with this, I just hope she's not doing it for any political gain and take um you know, publicity off of um, the fact that she's facing a recall and a lot of federal charges. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys remember she just had her house raided and Oakland is dealing with 911 issues. It takes a long time to get police. And I think this is a very powerful move. It can be positive for Oakland if um, we do get that land where the Coliseum is and this development group is, um, you know, um, I need to dig more deep into it and find out how much of it is the money where it's coming from and how it's going to um, impact Oakland. But 
she she's had a number of five million dollars let's just keep it real five million dollars is not really a lot that's probably to pay the electric bill for city hall but again she's making moves to um to us that are you know are appealing for oakland let's just see how it adds up and i think this could be um something she's doing to take the heat off what she's going through and again there's a lot of positive stuff going on in Oakland that they don't talk about. And I don't want to overshadow those things because of this mayor. She's dealing with what she's dealing with. And Oakland is not the place for mayors that don't know the city. Oakland is not the type of city that you can just have a mayor that doesn't understand Oakland from the grassroots. That just didn't come and say, oh, I went to college over here, but never was in the, um, in, in, in the trenches, in the grassroots seeing the everyday struggle of the community and how people made it out of that struggle all the people that struggle within that in oakland made that out come back and they look out for the city um but a lot of their money they don't know where it be going you know they they donate this money we got a lot of athletes actors activists that came up out of the town and they do donate a lot and they send a lot of their money to the town to these uh you know different nonprofits, and they don't really know where their money going so a lot of them are starting to realize that so they get more involved on a grassroots level. And um, this right here is an opportunity for Oakland to really um, see if they teach into something positive and how to land and develop and put uh, people in um, better positions in Oakland because we're dealing with a lot of um, jobless people and job opportunities are not really there. You know, it's not, you know, um, and it's hard to live. The cost of living is extreme. Um, and there is people from Oakland that are dealing with a lot of crime. Um, and that's never a good thing. I think she doesn't have a lot of stuff together when it comes to the police. I don't think she has a, a lot of stuff together when it comes to the inner city, the community. I just don't think she has what it takes to be Oakland mayor. Um, but hopefully this deal gets done and we can utilize this. And if she get up out of here, let her get up out of here and let's take this opportunity and build Oakland. Again, I just stated to you that this they're paying the money at the forefront, right? So we're going to get immediately $5 million. There's actually a whole schedule plan for when these monies come in. And so, of course, like any other situation, I mean, the deficit that we are seeing here in the city of Oakland, it has been an accumulation of the deficits that we have always been accumulating. And we haven't yet seen a leader take the steps to actually make that long-term investment for the present and for the future. And that is what we're doing today. We need to figure out how we create new monies, new monies. And this is the pathway forward. Um, hopefully her, um, her track record and the shit she got going on doesn't hinder what we can what we need to have in oakland right now because we got it's really bad i'm talking about with in every aspect of oakland you know from the economy to the crime um and don't just you know i don't want everyone to subject that crime in oakland to black folks because we got so many people we got an influx of people coming to oakland and committing crimes and going back where they wherever they came from we have an influx of that so a lot of these crimes you see a lot of these people don't even live in oakland a lot of these side shows, a lot of these people don't even live in Oakland. They come to Oakland because they know um, Oakland is, you know, is one of those places where, you know, hey, you come to Oakland, you better be, you know, prepared. And they know being in Oakland, they can get away with a lot more um, than in a city. And, you know, and that's to the detriment of Oakland. And like I said, man, hopefully that turns into something positive with this, um, this uh, Coliseum, the Ballers. All these different things hopefully we get some sports teams back in oakland because um it's a sports city it's definitely a sports city man oakland is a sports city based on the fact that we don't have so many athletes make it to the nfl nba and do some great things you know y'all better understand the history of oakland you better look up go on the internet and type in all the athletes and actors and activists from oakland california you're going to see just as many as new york as LA, Chicago, you're going to see just as many as Detroit. You are going to see just as many if you look up Oakland, California. So we are grassrooted and what we're seeing now is not a reflection of what Oakland really is. And I just want to throw that out there. So y'all have a good one. This cold narrative, Iceberg Green. I'm out.
I want to thank you all for tuning in. I also want to say God bless those who don't get a struggle. Make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. To all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.